Outside a New York courthouse, a crowd of Honduran expats celebrate the conviction of their former president. On Friday, Juan Orlando Hernandez was convicted of using the military and police to help drug traffickers move tons of cocaine into the United States unhindered. Hernandez is expected to appeal the conviction. It's sad that the words of drug traffickers, thugs and psychopaths were used by the U.S. government to accuse someone and convict him. U.S. prosecutors accused Hernandez of working with drug traffickers for at least 20 years, taking millions of dollars in bribes as he rose from rural congressman to eight years as president. During his presidency, Honduras received more than $50 million in U.S. anti-narcotics assistance and tens of millions of dollars in security and military aid. But the Justice Department now says Hernandez ran Honduras as a narco state, using drug cash to bribe officials to manipulate voting results during Honduras' 2013 and 2017 presidential elections. Honduran authorities arrested Hernandez three months after he left office in 2022 and extradited him to the United States. Sentencing for Hernandez has been scheduled for June. He faces at least 40 years in prison.